Wow, it barely did. That was a pretty pitiful bottle oh open. God. This is Dr. Here, I have this a... Dr. Pepper's a little flat. Oh you bought two Cokes? God. You didn't even finish your other one and you've already cracked this. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Yeah? Look, it's fine. It's fine. Hello, hello everyone! Mm, mm. Welcome back to the sliced of Coopers of the Thievius Raccoonus. That's a whole slew of things you just said. <laughs> but yes, we are back, baby. We are uh, running around the swamp, I think. Running around at the speed, speed of sound. sound. No place to go. go. Follow my ring, blah, 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 blah. So which one are we going to play? Which um, Sonic are we going to play first, Josh? Which one do you want to play first, huh? Oh, fuck you, man. Like, I don't... Mm. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Unsure. Oh, mate. I think it would be funny for us to, um... I don't know, do... Oh, God, what's that game? Uh, Unleashed? We do like You know, that, that's, that's arguably the most furriest of Sonic games, you know? True. Okay, so this guy's name cool. is Mojo Dupree. Okay. Rodentia Voodooium. He, he enjoys golf? Enjoys golf. Yeah, because, like, here, let me show you what, what he does um, when he kills me. When he, or when he hits me. Look at his victory. <gasps> oh, he loves shit. golf. He loves golf. He loves golf. Oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> Very important. All right. All right. All right. I think we're going to go do this one now. Okay. Grave Undertaking. It's all the spooky levels. This one is really spooky. Wait until you see why it is so spooky. Why they're vampires? No, there's a ghost. Oh. That's the gimmick for this level, there's ghosts. Okay. So just ghosts exist in this world. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, especially especially here, because, you know, she's it's a voodoo, voodoo lady. Shut the fuck up, Bentley. Shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. He hurt me. These guys always got the got, got the gum, jump on me, got the gumption to hurt me. Mm -hmm. And then see so the the gimmick for these guys is they spawn from these little pillar thingies until you uh -huh. break it. Now that was very interesting. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, he's gonna hurt me. Okay, Bentley needs to like man up soon. Yeah. Or he's gonna be worse than one. Man up soon. Yeah. How soon? I don't know. Yeah, he, he has to prove that he's better than Morgana, because he's just he's pretty Morgana tier right now. Mm -hmm. Marcel Woodfist, Shambliss, Moundium, devoted ecologist. Oh, he yeah. cares about the environment. He celebrates Arbor Day. He really does. Uh, um, Do you know anyone that like celebrates actively celebrates, celebrates, celebrates Arbor Day? Mm, no. When is Arbor Day? Uh, that's Great question. One to which I do not know the answer. Yeah. I think it's in. I, I think it's in June. I think it was Arbor Day. Fuck, did we miss Arbor Day? I mean, it. I, mean, I thought it was like in April. <laughs> of course, we missed, but you know what I mean. You're yeah, right, right. No, I don't think it's. Oh, fucking ghosts. Um, no. Arbor Day 2023. Okay, so Arbor Day in 2023 is April 28th. Okay, so it is April. Which is a Friday. Okay. Very important. We should Very try important. to celebrate Arbor Day. Oh, what do you want to do? Next year? Well, we'll have, a, we'll have an Earth-themed stream. Um, What does that look like? What does that mean? I don't know. We'll like play Final Fantasy VII or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's Earth-themed. Yeah. You can just <laughs> load up like a, a late game save file and... Uh, Go for the gold. In the Beijing say. Olympics. In the Beijing Olympics. Yeah. Do you ever say that meme and people like don't know what you're talking about? Yes. No one knows. It. No one knows <laughs> why I gold. say that. No one knows. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Like I barely understand why I say that at this point. Right. But I just love the sound of "Go for the gold" in the Beijing Olympics. Wasn't that a Death Note thing? I thought it was just um, because of just. Um, no, there was like an um, anime coming out around that time, and one of the participants on the Japanese end had the same name as like a prominent character in like a manga or anime that was currently ongoing. Mm. And so people would say like, I think pretty sure it was like Masuda, and it was like Masuda, go for the gold in the Beijing, Beijing Olympics. Olympics. Okay. Uh, and that guy actually did get gold that year. Okay. So uh, it was extra memeful, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just worked out really well. Oh wait, I gotta see what these guys are. Don't hurt me. 
Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit. Oh. I don't want him to suck my blood. I didn't want him to, I didn't. You could have ran farther back behind his loading barrier. Nah. I'll just I'll just be a bit more vigilant and see more. There, there will be more, I promise. Okay. And okay. I don't know if the ghosties have a name. And if they do, I they they appear too quickly and too Let's see if I can see if I can catch a ghost. Oh! <gasps> nope. Oh man, but I can I can see it in post. I think it's Clarence something. Whoa. Whoa. That run you that you saw me do that was yeah. like away. I did not do that. That was all the controller. Re no, Clarence Dupree is the is this guy is the mosquito. Okay. Bloodiest, suckiest. Stop. What's his name? It's his. It's his. It's his God-given biological man-given name. Is that a species or a genus? It's the. It's the genus and species. Bloodiest is the genus. Suckiest is the species. Okay. Enjoy Sunday picnics. I bet you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's his favorite part of a Sunday picnic? I think he's similar to me, mm -hmm. and that he likes watermelons to mm. just suck on. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. How do you suck on a watermelon without just like evaporating? Okay, so I have explained this before. Where like I'll I'll sink my teeth part way into the watermelon and just and then just kind of start draining it. Mm, like a vampire. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wait, I missed uh, I missed some bottles of, but I know where they are. Mm -hmm. Well, you got one. Well, then there's let's see, because here's the vault. Uh, tut, 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 tut. No, shit. I know where I have to go. Hang on. I have to go back this way, because that's the entrance. Let's go over here. Mhm. Mm trust me, trust me. I got this. I do got it, because I'm missing. Oh, there's one. Eight. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, the camera likes to make tell you which way you gotta go. Camera is like, no, 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 I'll guide your hips. Yep. It get, takes me... Well, how do you get to the ones up there? Uh, I gotta go... And go this. And go here and go this. There's definitely a way to just climb up here that I wasn't... Oh, no, I have to walk to it from here. So I could have gone up the tunnel. And, and and come this way. Okay. Because I, I come through here. Your cats are is, so chatty today. She's being real. Yeah, she's being noisy. Ash was real noisy earlier. Oh my god, I know. I'm missing four bottles. Now this level, Can this you find them? this level in particular, I don't remember very very well. You gotta show your stuff. I know. I mean, I think they might be down here because I didn't spend a lot of time. Uh, okay. I know I could be wrong. They might be somewhere in this room, perhaps. Because there's all. Looks like all the ones over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh -huh. So, what do you think of these cool sn snake spinny fellas? They're neat. Mm hmm. I'm glad that, um... Shit. Oh, oh. oh, I had no charm, I died. Oh, damn. Oops. Oh, well. I like how it's fast. Like, their, their radius is small enough to where even though, like, you have to do it in a certain amount of time because of the, the lasers, mm -hmm. it doesn't, like, stop the flow of the game. Mm-hmm. No, there's certainly a lot of, a lot of thought <laughs> that was, uh put right? into the level designs and like like truthfully the designer commentary like the level designer commentary for each level very fun to listen to mm, the guys I love when they do that the guys that made this game really fucking love this game well it's like the the three franchises right yep uh, of sly cooper ratchet and clay and jack and baxter mm -hmm. like it's still weird to me that all three of them were slam dunks yeah, it's they're it's, they're all like amazing. It's certainly strange. Like you don't that just doesn't really always happen where it just works out. Yeah, it's because uh, Sony like PlayStation didn't really have mascot ish things before that. Like, mm -hmm. The PS One didn't really. 
Well, None of those no. really stuck. Crash, Bandicoot, and Spyro, I would say. Mm, that's true. The I, older I, guard. Yeah. I would I would call them you know, the old guard. So that would that yeah. would be what I would consider. Um, but you know, I don't think they made quite the impact. And I mean, gaming was still. It's no, like, I think they I think they made their impact. It's just that um, they kept going, and thus the um, how you view them mm -hmm. altered over the decades, right? Yeah. While these three, despite the fact that Ratchet still goes right, uh. People will like just look at the those three trilogies in there, almost in a bubble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel like people don't do that for Spyro or Crash. No, they're a little more timeless, I guess. Like, I would say this Jack and Ratchet are of the time that they were made. Yeah. While the the opposite of that. Um, the, uh, so fuck Mary Kill. Oh, of the main of the main <laughs> bros. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Probably. Uh, fuck Murray, Mary Sly and Kill. Oh Mary. no, no, no! I mean, um. Oh, the Jack three Sly. Bill, and oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh. Main boys. Oh, the main boys. Because I know, um, now, I know. For me, I would definitely, uh, I would fuck Sly. Okay. That's Mary Ratchet. Mm -hmm. And I would kill Jack. That sounds like just the general correct <laughs> order. I don't think I would alter anything, truthfully. <laughs> I don't think I would change a thing. That sounds right. Like, do I feel bad about how much I fucking love that shit? No. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> but why? Why feel bad about it? Huh? What's the what, what 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 reason would you feel bad about it? I don't know. He's a precious being who's just like, damn, let me get a piece of that. Yeah. That's really just all it is. Because I definitely like Ratchet the most out of the three. Mm. And it is, like, it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I mean, like, so, like, I've thought about this, right? I just really like Ratchet. No, I, I get that. He's, you know, he's a little more exotic, I guess you could say. He's he's a more unique animal. You know, I mean, Sly's, oh, yeah. Sly's a raccoon. He's a he's a space creature. He's fluffy he's I, I think it has more to do with his personality like he's he's cute and cuddly right right like ratchet oh, just but he has like more personality up front <sighs> than jack or sly and i do specify up front yeah yeah i mean if you i mean truthfully sly is a little flat mm -hmm. in the especially he, in this you one. know what he's not as flat as jack which who's a mute yeah you know and, like, and then when he starts talking, he's somehow a flatter character. Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't understand how that works. No, like with, with Jack One, they definitely what helped is the cartooniness. Um, and I mean, J Daxter was the the comedy, the voice of the two. Right. I also it was all about like expressions. the implication that Jack was never mute. True. Because if if you like look back at cutscenes in the first game, Jack will about to speak, yeah, and then he'll get cut off by someone. Yeah. So I think of Jack as more of a very respectable introvert, mm -hmm. where like he he finally works up the nerve to say something in conversation, will get cut off, and will just remain silent for the rest of the conversation. Right. I could see that. He you know doesn't really. Have a lot. Well, I don't think it's that he doesn't have a lot to say, but because a lot of the NPCs will like in the village will mention things of like, oh yeah, you were always like a X person, or like they'll describe Jack right. really briefly mm -hmm. in their interaction. So you do get like what Jack's personality is, mm -hmm. and it, it does feel like like oh he's just <laughs> he's just getting cut off and doesn't have the uh, I guess gumption to be able to speak, speak up his in mind. conversation. Yeah, I get that. Especially with uh, Daxter there, just mm. being like, well, I'll just... Being the loud one. Yeah. I mean, he yells and, like, screams, like, full ass when you die. When you die. Also, <laughs> I haven't talked about this level at all. I fucking hate this level. These minigames do not look fun. No. They are. They do not, and they are not. It's one thing that, like... Oh, I... my God. I didn't push X. Because Ratchet doesn't have too many of these, like... Diversions, mm -hmm. and Jack has like just just enough to not be infuriating. Yeah, 
I mean, like, when I think about Jack, I think about the fishing minigame. And I think you mean the fishing minigame that happens once? Yeah, I think about that. It's like, I mean, just as far as minigames go, I'm, I'm happy that I finished it in one go this time, because I fucking hate this minigame mm -hmm. so much. Um, you know, for Jack 1, the fishing minigame. I actually kind of like the fishing minigame, because it's like, it's quick and easy, yeah, but I wish cool. you could replay it. Yeah, like, and that's part of the problem with, with that, with Jack 1, you don't get to replay parts of the game that you like yeah and i i'm always really hit or miss on the um the jet bike missions mm, oh like for in in one like when you're riding the zoomer yeah okay like just a second so in this level right we're trying yeah. to trying to make it to the second half but we can't so we had the keys so we got the keys from this part to do this it's pretty great we harness oh. the power of a beast <laughs> to give us progression. See, <laughs> okay. That's it. Sure, he, sure. He breaks it open for us, does a couple little See, passes. this is a cool, like, sea monster. Yeah, not like fucking sea beast. It's not a, it's not a sussy beast. We watched, not a sussy baka, if you will. We watched Sea Beast today. Yeah, and that was not a great movie. Um, that's unfortunate. First act? Solid. Very solid. Enjoyed it a lot. As soon as you realize who your actual main characters are, that movie goes straight into the shitter. Mm -hmm. Nasty Charlotte, arachnid descendium, enjoys bungee jumping. Isn't I she, see. Isn't she cute? Nasty. She's a nasty girl. Wow. Well, she's nasty Charlotte. Terrible. Like and of course he wants to stop me to do anything. <laughs> So, so he does, so Bentley does step up in this game. Okay. Exactly one time. So is it two or three that it becomes a triple? At the end of two. Okay. End of two, three, you play, you play as him as a triple. Cool. That's something. Mm -hmm. No, it's fun. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's a fun, it's fun how they work it into just you playing as him, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I do like the, um, you know, this it's headcanon for now, right? Because I don't really know these characters. Okay. But I like the idea that, like, Bentley is here on this team to prove himself that despite everything, he is, he is as skilled of a person as Sly is. Right. And I like that Murray is here because he just, he's figuring himself out. Well, it's funny. Like, <laughs> well, well, like what you're saying, um, oh like, there truthfully is not a whole lot of depth uh, when it comes to the characters in this game. You know, obviously. Yeah. It's a quick, easy one. And even two, there's a bit less of that, but like in three, there really is parts of the game that like, you know, it shows Bentley's insecurities when being compared to Sly. And that's mm -hmm. a, 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 a big part of toward the end of the game is like... The bad guy is trying to be like, oh, why are you working with Sly? You're clearly so much more superior. You're a genius. You oh, can do he, all the he's things. Oh, he's Xemnas? He yeah, he Xemnas is you a little bit. <laughs> um, it's, it's pretty cool. If we ever get there, it would be, you know, you'll see. But they get a lot more. The, the writing definitely gets better. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, as... I don't want to say shallow, but, like, you know, this isn't particularly deep, you know? Beat the bad guys, well, get so, your book back. You know, uh, solid is solid, right? Yeah. There there should be nothing wrong with, like, a story going for something simple but yet effective. Mm-hmm. And it does. It, it does it very well, I think. Because I do think that's something that uh, hurts a lot of modern media. Because <laughs> everyone's like, we need, like, a, a hot gimmick for our thing, right? Right. Like, we need to say something. Not even that. Like, we, we need a gimmick. Whether it be, like, your theming, whether it be, like, your message, like, everyone feels like they need something. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. I feel like at this point you should be focusing on, like, raw execution on your idea. Right, right. No, I get you. And that's something, like, all three of these franchises do really well. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like, Jack and Daxter has a really simple, hey, your buddy turned into a furry, the dream. But, like... <laughs> Why is Daxter upset? I don't know. <laughs> but you know, go go find scientist man who's been studying dark. Was it dark eco? Just dark eco? Mm -hmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, it's just dark eco. Shit. 
Oh, oh no. okay. Yeah, he kind of, I kind of jumped into his beam and he sort of gave me the what, the what for, if you will. Yeah, and then do thing, right? And you, you travel from the different sage huts to, to find the one sage you're trying to, yep. to get to. You know, it's funny. Like, when I think about <laughs> Jack and Daxter... I don't think about the story at all while I'm playing it, and I don't pay attention to, like, the cutscenes. Oh, fast. I just kind of, like, I tune out the cutscenes and just play the levels and have fun. I know I'm supposed well, to the, get the cells. The, the cutscenes, like, they get worse as the game goes on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, because, um, I find that the villagers you talk to at the beginning of the game, they inform you so much about Jack mm -hmm. and, um, and Daxter as well. Like, it, how all those characters interact, you also get via how the NPCs talk to you, like the mayor, the mayor and such. Mm -hmm. And as the game goes on and the NPCs have less and less connection with... Uh, oh, it's a bat. Oh, I just noticed that. The the thing next to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's he's, cool. He's a big old Bateman. Uh, um, th those cutscenes lean more and more into just the personality of that NPC you're talking to without as much focus on how they interact with Jack and Daxter. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean, like, those interactions are bad. It's just, uh, you don't have that inherent connection. No, you just don't. Because you have, like, in the in the blue eco section, right? You have the in barrel the, guy. The forest? No, it's the, um, not, it's not really a forest. There's a forest around it. Well, the jungle. It has a jungle around it. But the... the it has like the um the underwater plant. It has like the that's the blue eco. Oh, the area. Um, the precursor uh, lost precursor city when you go in the city underwater. Yeah, but it's a uh, the village above that. That's the blue eco like set town. Yeah, that is that is the blue eco sage's head town. Rock village, yeah. I think, is what it's called. Yeah, because all like technology themes. So like they're they're yeah. harnessing like the precursors technology a bit more than like other locations, and that's some cool theming. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really kind of the only town. Because when you visit the Red Sage's uh, lab... It's just the... It's um, just in well, a crater. <laughs> yeah, but it's also overrun with lurkers already. Mm -hmm. So you don't get, like, a I feel. did not touch that fire. <laughs> I did not. That... If I, if I died, I would have been pissed. Uh, but... Ooh, okay. And the orange Inko guy... Did we go to his lab? No, we never went to the yellow Inko. We never went and saw the yellow... We yellows. met him, but we don't... We Go meet to... him at the end when he's captured. Yeah, it's in those mines, right? Um, or was it after that? I think it was after that. No, the mine, like um, the mine is where the red uh, sages places. Yeah, but that's also the um, volcano. That's also the ice section, right? Yeah, you take you take a trolley up to Snowy Mountain. Yeah. Which is it's just fun, you know the yeah. the red eco place is the snow area. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's being yeah, funny. Yeah, has access to it. Yeah, that's funny. It's a fun game. It really is. <laughs> and like something I was thinking about as far as like the the big three, um, this one this game probably has, I would say the least nuanced gameplay. Not to say that any of them are particularly in depth. Ah, you are so noisy. I have two more bottles to get right here. Um, what's it called? Um, this one is probably the least nuanced, because yeah. at least with Jack 1, there's so many things you can do movement-wise. Oh, yeah. Like, as far yeah. as moving across the world and stuff like that, you have the Ecos. Well, they also give you such a varied moveset, like, right from the start. Yeah, you have access to everything. Yeah. And, um... Which has always been, like the fun part of Jack. It's mm -hmm. just like, here's your full move set right from the get-go. Yeah. You have a couple temporary power-ups. Mm -hmm. Have fun. That's pretty good. And I quite like that. Mm -hmm. Hold down the triangle button to use it. Oh, I can slow down time forever now. Oh, shit. I don't even have to, like, be in the air. So I can be dramatic like this. Check this out. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah. No, nah, it's just fun. They're 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 all simple games, you know. They were, right. They were of a time where games were simple and fun, you know. I guess kids games, but. Yeah, but that also means that they're they're focused more on the moment to moment, mm -hmm. rather than like. They know that like the the child audience isn't trying to measure the money lost. 
right by buying the game and so they're trying to like because that's something that like I, i've talked to people about and how much they they quantify a game by how much money they paid for it uh -huh. right and i always found that really weird like my, my sister always says like if she does not get a minute like a dollar per hour in a video game like it's bad so like it needs to be minimum like if you're paying for a full 60 dollar game she expects to get 60 hours of gameplay that's a hard that's a hard get these days. Okay, so real quick. Oh, and not counting replay value. Damn. Yeah. So real quick, both these levels suck shit. Okay. This one sucks the most. This well, is... whatever you decide, whatever order, you know. Let's just get this one over with. This one sucks. I hate this level. And then we'll probably have to Yeah, whatever. But anyway. So Oh, I see. <laughs> I already see it's a, a gimmick level. Yeah. A nice small room. That's what, ha you know, it's unfortunate, but that's what half the levels in this game, in this level. Half the, half the levels in this world are stupid, shitty gimmick levels. And I hate them so much. This one especially, because this one, well, because you have the Piranha one also before, and this one, we have to hit chickens to make gumbo for a ghost in a minute and 30 seconds. But wait, I'll show you, I'll wait for the best part. That you can't hit him? No, I can't. It's just, I have to be careful, because there's roosters <laughs> that come for me with the bombs. <laughs> and see, that's why, the, that's why the ghost is having me, I'm not even pushing jump. I didn't push the binocucon button. This controller's gonna get me fucked up, bro. Now, my understanding, the best way to sort of optimize playing this level is to, well, to not die for one. I'm um, sure that's how you optimize every level. Yeah, but you have to pick a route to run and just run. Like, run around and just follow the path. That's apparently the best way to optimize. If I can, you know, also navigate my way through it. Oh, and that also, it, it seems like it's helping like, the roosters not being able to get you. Yeah, because when they run into each other, they respawn, which they can pop out of just about anywhere. And then, oh, I slowed down time. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> this controller, dude, I swear. Look, the dual shock. Three? Yes, correct. Easily the worst con PlayStation controller. It is, it is so bad. It's pretty sharp. The DualShock Four. Solid. Pretty good. I like it. Yeah. And apparently the DualSense ain't too bad. I've held one DualSense controller, and mm. I didn't dislike it. Oh. Well, it's not officially out Bitch. yet, so it's um. What do you mean? Well, that's, that's the newest controller, right? Yeah, for the PS5. Yeah, well, that's not out yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she I, so I have not seen it. You haven't? Well, I've seen, like, demo displays for them. Right, but you've never been in the physical space with them. Well, what I mean is I've never gone into a store and seen them for sale. Ah. <laughs> Basically pre-orders. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. So people who get like early releases, you know, it's like, oh, that's cool for you. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunate that it's not available to the public. No! The stupid controller's for the gun! And yes, I am just straight blaming it on the goddamn controller. I'm getting tilted. I hate this level so much. Well, you can, you can stop and then go to a different level there. No. We commit. Oh, you know. We commit. Oh no, guys, we're gonna be here. Shut the fuck up. We're gonna. We're, we commit and we finish levels like men. Stop jumping, you butt shit. Slide, run the direction I want you to, and stop jumping when I. I swear. Is it because I don't have good line of sight, good RF to the fucking. PS3? No, because those ones are genuinely wired. Yeah, so that like shouldn't it shouldn't affect it. But this thing is giving me the shit, dude.
Oh my god, thank goodness. Oh, you did it? Jesus Christ. Sorry, I had to get super gamer focused. I couldn't talk. Look, well, I was letting you go. No worries. I'm gaming. I'm sorry. Gaming. <laughs> We're in the game reserve. Don't touch me, I'm gaming. We're gonna... <laughs> Don't touch me, I'm gaming. Don't touch me, I'm gaming. Alright, how many is that? Yeah, six. Okay, so we just got one level left. Okay, okay. Well, we will... We'll end the part here. Yeah, we'll do it. So we will see you around, everyone.